Hello and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I am she. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click that subscribe. Head on over to that notification bell, move it from personalized to all so you can receive any and every upload that I place onto the channel. Get familiar with our community tab. There's where you can see any exclusive behind the scenes content pertaining to the channel. I ask you questions, I ask you polls, I give you some pictures in regards to my day-to-day -day life. So go ahead and head on over to the community tab and join the conversation. Let's go. And you know I'm feisty, I ain't keeping like, secrets hey, for a bitch hey, A nigga that don't like me, ooh, you really hurt You sitting there with something you don't even love Hello you guys and welcome to the channel Okay, so this is genuinely impromptu um, I normally wake up each day and I go through my um, comments If I have some, just check the um, analysis on my videos And blah, 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 right? And you know that when I do my Asriel videos, I try my best to um, respond to comments because some people be having some interesting things to um, to say, interesting points to place um, that they place into my comments. And this one in particular was rather interesting to say at least. And I just want to address the black people, our black people. Excuse my appearances. It's early in the morning. It's like seven something in the morning right now. Um, getting ready to um, sign in for work. Nonetheless, this one goes out to the Glow Experience. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put her stuff right here or what we're going to discuss right here. Okay, so I posted a particular video in regards to Asriel. And what irritates me is that we can't stay on topic. Um, a lot of the pee hivers, and let me not, let me not say that. A lot of you are Kelly supporters um, deflect a lot. And the thing is, is that I would respect you more if you stayed on topic and addressed um, exactly what topic I'm discussing and or if you stayed on topic when it came to uh, issues that I come back with. A lot of you guys um, want to uh, deflect and if we're talking about Asriel, talk about her parents. If we start talking about her parents, then y'all want to talk about my appearances, my eye, which things have nothing to do with anything, okay? But you guys don't have nothing else to come up with, so you guys deflect. That's the issue, okay? We can't stay on topic, right? Um, so here's the thing in regards to everything. This is the reason why we have so much conversation to discuss because you, a lot of you guys want to deflect. This particular um, comment is no different, okay? The particular video was um, in regards to Azriel, and I think it was me addressing um, or clarifying some things that she stated and some things that I didn't clarify in my video or whatever. Uh, check this little snippet out, and I'm going to come back with my commentary. Joy coming home. Using her how? What was ass mad about? You can't get into a relationship and don't get what you want out of it and then defame the person. You listened through and through. You heard me say that I lost the footage that um, Larry from the Grown Man Show said. I didn't say that. These are allegations brought upon Larry. Okay. And I even said that in the thumbnail. Um, she's supposed to be leaving, um, you know, but this is coming from the grown man show. Okay. He is still going to um, meet his judgment of the, of the sins that he's did knowingly and unknowingly for you guys out there that want to say, well, he didn't get convicted of anything. Because at the end of the day, he knows what he did. The The true victims know what happened too. And you guys can uh, um, sit up here and act as if this man is golden if you want to, okay? But he's not. Only thing is golden is his piss. All right. Okay, so you guys were able to see a little snippet of that video. And that's what that video was about. I had someone in my comments, this particular individual, come in my comments and um, start talking about Angelo. And I stated, no, I'm, I'm not going to bring up Angelo because this video has nothing to do with Angelo. I have a few videos pertaining to just to Angelo and his rants and ravens on his lives. I wasn't talking about Angelo. I was talking about Azrael. And I wanted to stay on that topic. And so she began to tell me, well, you know, I know you're, I'm sorry, I'm a deep thinker. And, you know, I'm talking about Angelo. Then she just went into this whole slew of um, information overload, to be quite frank and honest with you. Um, 
That's what we're about to discuss, okay? I'm not about to be Mother Goose and read all this. You can check this out and I will come back. Okay, you guys were able to check that um, out. Now, I'm going to grab a few things out of there and get right into it, okay? First and foremost, who is Angelie? I don't know who Angelie is. Maybe you meant Angelo, okay? So, let's just roll with that, okay? Angelo or whatnot, she decided to pull out some information saying that he sent some girls or uh, whatever to R. Kelly. Here's the thing. Do you not hear what you just said, sweetie? Okay, and I stated this, even if it's a setup, who is it to blame? I said this in a podcast that I just did the other day. Okay, that's just like undercover cops. Okay, when undercover cops go in, they don't say, oh, you sold the drugs to this person. They get the person for purchasing the drugs. Okay, all right. And when they send in the op or when they send in the uh, undercover, they don't get in trouble for that. So, okay, cool. We can roll with that and say Angelo set R. Kelly up. He took the bait, okay? So then in, the, in turn, that's his problem, okay? But we still deflecting. That's just like saying that, oh, no, it's the undercover cop's problem or fault for selling me drugs. That don't even make no sense, y'all. Come on. Now. A lot of you guys are trying to gun for me because I'm using my common sense, okay? So I can be Wanda all day. Y'all can tell me Jamie Foxx got a YouTube channel, boo. Jamie Foxx is booming, okay? So this cross-eyed bandit can, can take the heat, okay? But let's stay on topic, okay? So then she also addressed and said that Angelo um, on a live stated that if this would never would have happened, if R. Kelly would have made a song with Asriel. Oh my goodness, can you not be so, not necessarily naive, but... Flat. And I say all that to say because he wasn't saying it like that. I know exactly the live you're talking about because I think I discussed that live. I even got it in my um, playlist, okay? He meant to say in a sense of if he would have just did what he was supposed to do, okay? If he would have just did what he was supposed to do, none of this would have happened. If he would have um, got this young lady, cultivated her, mentored her, got her, um, her music and stuff like that. She would have went on her way, just like anybody else. Just like if somebody, just, prime example, the shows that they be having when they build up these uh, artists and things to that nature, okay? If they just do their part and do what they need to do as mentors and guidance, none of it would have happened. He's absolutely right. That has nothing to do with extorting nobody. It means stop having sex with these people that's coming to you for your mentorship, your guidance, your wisdom, and leave them alone. Just do what you're supposed to be doing, regardless if they come in a room butt naked. Keep your butt on the key. Stay focused and do what you need to do. That's what he was talking about. Let's stop it, okay? Use your common and your daggone sense, all right? Now, I do know for some people, sense ain't common. But come on now. He clearly didn't mean it like that. Okay? Now, in regards to ex exploiting anybody or whatever the case may be, don't you think that if all these things were true, that the feds will find this and the feds will have Angelo and whoever else involved with them, with R. Kelly? And hey, you know, this is still pending. Things are still undergoing. And all this may turn about. But until then, just as well as you guys want R. Kelly to have this fair trial or whatever the case may be, and y'all want to sit here and say the media is already setting him out to be something he not, y'all are so hypocritical and contradicting yourself every time you're doing the same thing to the victims. Same things to the victims. You guys are persecuting them. You guys are telling them that they're guilty. And they're not even on trial. Anyway, then she began to deflect, like I said, 
Start talking about the dancing dolls. Start talking about Bill Cosby, um, Whitney Houston, Prince, okay? And what we need to get out of as a society, as a society of black people, is not holding ourselves accountable, okay? All those individuals you name did predominantly well in the um, black culture. She stated how Bill Cosby, um, you know, made some universities and gave back to the community and all that in the third. And then look what happened to him. What happened to Bill Cosby, what happened to anybody that does something um, wrong, you get held accountable. You don't get exempt because you're black. You get held accountable, okay, as we all. If I decide I want to go and rob a bank because I'm tired of not having no money, I'm tired of going through all this when I'm going through in quarantine, I'm going to jail. Well... I gave back to my community. I, I, I build foundations. I, I do community service. has nothing to do with the crime in which I committed. And we need to get out of that. Okay? We need to get out of that. That's great and fine and dandy. All the stuff that Bill Cosby did. But he was clearly a man when he took all them, 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 um, them hats off. And he was doing things that he was not supposed to. And he got held accountable. Period. Okay, and we're going to stop that. We as a society need to stop doing that. Okay, stop deflecting. These people do great things, but at the end of the day, they have lives, they're human, and they do things that they need to be held accountable for, period. Okay, in regards to Whitney Houston, and she stated how she died and drug overdose and stuff like that, and same for Prince and their legacies and things to that nature. These people had substance issues, okay? Period. You you can't get mad at the stuff that you do and then want to blame it on the ed, the editing of it. And I say that on many times when it comes to like reality shows and things like that. People want to get mad at how people edit stuff, but you're not getting mad at the actions. They can't edit stuff that you don't do. If you don't want it to come to light or be a part of your legacy, don't do it. Period. Period. Okay? So at the end of the day, let's stay on topic, you guys. Let's stay on topic, all right? Stop deflecting. Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics is way more than its namesake. From primers, mascaras, eyeshadows, foundations, lippies, lashes, and so much more. For that fierce look you can't find anywhere else, Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics. Tell them Whitney from Reviews with Whitney D sent you. I'm a genuine person. Like if I if I love you, I love you. If I don't mess with you, I don't mess with you. It's as simple as that. The person that is involved is responsible for all this is R. Kelly. He made his bed and he has to lay in it. Regardless if he gets convicted or not, at the end of the day, we have no heaven or hell to place this man in. You have no heaven to hell to place this man in. You have no heaven to hell to place these alleged victims in it or anybody else. Okay? So at the end of the day, instead of you guys coming in my comments, not using common sense, take out the time to think before you type. And before you type all these long paragraphs that at the end of the day, I'm going to break down using common sense. But that's the video, you guys. It's just frustrating to say the least that we can sit up here and come up with all these excuses for an individual who has yet to show any kind of um, self-reflection, any kind of remorse for the things and actions that he's did, okay? And y'all still want to support this man and want to rally behind him and say this is um, a ploy for money. You want to say all these things. And it's, it's so contradictive again because if it's for money, why wouldn't these individuals stay? 
Just stay. Just stay. You're getting all the things. Why detach yourself from, from this individual? You're not, and they not going to get no money by exploiting him right now because he has no access like that to his monies like that. They've even said that in the little documentary that they was coming up with that he has money in bank accounts that can't be touched right now. He's under federal watch, you guys. And what you guys have to understand is whoever was involved, boo, I want them under the jail as well. It's not just R. Kelly, whoever's involved, period. Because that's the problem. The enablers around them. And again and again and again, I'm going to say this before I end this. You guys, as fans, they are not taking off the blinders from your eyes and just looking at little detailings to say, okay, well, this may be the case. Don't want to do that. And then I had this dingy comment. First and foremost, I don't get paid. I don't get any kind of form of anything from the Clarys, period, okay? Period, all right? I'm using common sense when it comes uh, to, to topics, okay? That's, that's period, all right? And ain't nobody afraid of nobody, okay? God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of, of, of joy, peace, um, and love, and a sound mind, honey. I fear no one. Let's get that very clear. And that's just like I said in regards to um, any kind of Asriel video to do. I am very fair when it comes to stuff. I hold her butt accountable. Just like in the video I said that when she stated the reason why she left was because she didn't like how R. Kelly was treating Joycelyn. I feel like that was partially true. I feel like she began to get jealous at the fact of how R. Kelly was putting Joycelyn in a position. And it kind of made her wake up and be like, uh-oh. I stated that I'm not just finna sit up here and not hold somebody accountable because if I love you, I hold you accountable. That's what us parents do. So it makes me really think twice about you parents out there that can sit up here and disregard all the things that this man's doing just because he's black. I have two black, beautiful mixed children. Okay. And at the end of the end of the day, I'm gonna get on their butt. Period. But anyways, you guys, that's the video. Now it's your turn. Holla at your girls. Whitney D signing off. Bye. And you know I'm feisty, I ain't keeping like, secrets hey, for a bitch. Hey, a nigga that I, don't like me. Ooh, you really I, hurt I, you I, sitting there with something you don't even love. Anyways, you guys, that's the video. Tell me what you now think down in the comments below. Keep it cute or get the boot. Okay, you gonna get out of here. All right, but go on out with your comments. Do not forget to click that subscribe button, okay? If you are new to the channel and want to join the Witness Gang and be a part of the Witness Nation, click that subscribe button. Okay? And then click that notification bell, move from personalized to all, so you can receive any and every upload that I place onto the channel, okay? Head on over to that community tab. There's where you'll see any behind the scene content pertaining to the channel. I post my day to day pictures, me getting ready for work, just trying to check in and see how y'all doing. Sometimes I put a little polls on there just to get you guys uh, information about things. Sometimes I let you know if I'm going live or if I'm doing a new upload or just, you know, just shooting the stuff with you guys. So head on over to the community tab and get familiar with that and join the conversation, okay? I am about to get. Uh, my my um, my uh, lazy eye corrected, all right? And I'm about to embark on this journey. So I created a second channel. A lot of people were saying that they could not find it. So I placed the link in the description box below, okay? It's my lazy journey, okay? Again, I'm about to get my lazy eye corrected and I'm about to embark on that journey. I'm gonna let you know how it got this way. I wasn't born this way, okay? As well as me wearing glasses too. Supposed to be wearing glasses, but anyways, okay? Well, you're going to join me as I journey on this path of finding a doctor, getting the corrective, whatever it takes to get it corrected, okay? I'm trying to go the invasive route first, so pray for me, okay? Yeah. So if there's something of interest of you, go ahead down to the description box below and click that link, okay? And join that page once I get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to release my first video, okay? So stay tuned for that, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye.
I'm with you.